Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Every Saturday we talk about rheumatology. Today we'll talk about the imaging study. Before we have talked about arthropathies, we have talked about the synovial fluid effusions and the arthrocentesis. With that being said, now let's get started with the imaging studies. Just a quick review on my previous video about arthropathy. We classify arthritis depending on different factors. So, we have non-inflammatory versus inflammatory. We have mono, oligo, and polyarticular. We have DIP involvement, MCP unrest, or first metatarsal. We have acute arthritis, chronic arthritis. We have asymmetric and symmetric. If you want to know more about these and which diseases are in which category, go my, to watch my video on arthropathy. You should subscribe and save my rheumatology playlist, by the way. Thank you. So the initial radiologic test in rheumatology is usually the x-ray. And if you're talking about the knee, use a weight-bearing knee film. Why weight-bearing? Like the patient standing up, it gives you a more realistic joint space evaluation. We call the x-ray plane radiographs or rontigenograms, thanks to Wilhelm Rontgen, who discovered the x-ray and he used his wife's ring finger and hand to help him with the discovery. And for those guys out there, here is an advice for you. Get married so that your wife can help you with your x-ray machine. So on x-ray, you can discover lots of things such as joint space narrowing, bone erosions, hypertrophic changes, periostitis, peri means around, chondrocalcinosis seen in pseudogout or cppd which is calcium pyrophosphate dehydrate crystals this is very high yield and very important and we're going to talk about this in our video about pseudogout in the near future just want to let you know that i have the perfectionalist ultimate notebook everything you need to know about lymphoma condensed in more than a hundred pages that are more than a hundred megabytes these are this is like heavy stuff Several students have already got it, so if you want to do it, go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Next, we have ultrasound, very easy to use, inexpensive, no exposure to ionizing radiation, and especially we use this in cases of synovitis. However, the only problem with ultrasound, it, it depends on the expert, it depends on the guy or gal who is operating it. If he's an expert, you'll get expert results. If he's a moron, you'll get moronic results. Next, we have MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. Beautiful, detailed image of the joint. It's expensive, but it's very detailed. How about CT scan? Not recommended anymore because MRI is better, except when MRI is contraindicated. In which conditions is MRI contraindicated? Please let me know the answer in the comment section. This is the last video in rheumatology about lab tests, radiological tests, etc. From the next video, we're going to talk about real diseases. So please subscribe and hit the bell. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. Get my notes and cases by going to patreon.com forward slash medicosis and subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you subscribe, I'll send you all of my bloody Dropbox links. Thanks again. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.